The child finished his food. The child finished his food. A tiny ant made a hole in the wall. I'm making a group of the words and in this group of words I'm trying to convey a meaning. I'm trying to make a sense. So yes, in this video I'm going to get you introduced with the formally with the, the sentence. And this is lesson 6 of English grammar A to Z. The sentence. So a sentence is a group of words that makes a complete sense, means it conveys a meaning and an idea in a proper and a complete manner. And such a group of words is called a sentence. Like I just gave you examples in the beginning of the video, the child finished his food. So this has a complete meaning, the child finished his food. Same way, a tiny ant made a hole in the wall. So. This type of group of the words and a complete meaning is conveyed that is called a sentence. But in a sentence, again, we have two things. First is we either name some person or a thing. And the second thing, we say something about that person or a thing. So first thing we do, we always put a name of any person or a thing. And the second thing is we tell something about that person or a thing. So whenever we are making a sentence, in every sentence, there come two parts. First part, where we are mentioning the name of a person or a thing, that is called the subject of the sentence. And in the second part, when we are telling something about that person or a thing or that subject, that is called predicate of the sentence. Means the name of the thing or the person that is used in the beginning of the sentence, that is called subject or the doer means one who does the work and the second part which is when we are talking about something we are telling about something telling something about that person or a thing that is predicate like here are some examples you can understand subject and predicate nature is the best physician so we are talking about nature and we are telling about nature by saying is the best physician so nature is subject is the best physician is predicate he has great knowledge so we are telling we are talking about he and we are telling about he what has great knowledge so has great knowledge is a predicate and he is subject the chirping of the birds make morning musical here we are talking about chirping of the birds so here I want to convey one thing subject is not always a single word it can also be a group of words so in this subject, we are having five or six words like the chirping bird. There are five words. The chirping of the word birds is the subject. Making morning musical is the predicate. Like the earth revolves round the sun. The earth is subject revolves round the sun is predicate. But sometimes, sometimes in uh, conversations or in dialogues or even in poetry also, predicate comes before the subject means occasionally subject is placed after the predicate like for example uh, here begins the show so show is the subject but it comes in the end here begins the show or like on the top of the hill lives a saint on top of the hill lives a saint and here begins the rain so this way uh, we write sentences in English with subject and predicate. I hope you understood what is a sentence and what is a subject and a predicate in a sentence. Here I want to give you a task again. You are supposed to write your own five sentences in the comment box and you have to separate the subject and the predicate. I'll be waiting for your interesting and beautiful and amazing sentences with an understanding of subject and predicate. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe the channel and to recommend to others so that more people would get enriched about English language and English knowledge of English grammar. Like the video and comment on it. Thank you very much.